Hey guys, welcome back. So it is a nice sunny spring day here in Arkansas. So decided to tackle another project. We're actually at the house right now. And this is a car that you guys probably haven't seen um, before. I drove it to high school. We've had it for a long time. It's got a cool story behind it, but I parked it here like a year ago. And when I went to start it again, it was leaking a lot of fuel. So dad woke up this morning decided that today was a good day to tackle this project that way we could drive it um ignore the mess here guys the house garage doesn't get a lot of attention even all the light bulbs are burned out and i don't have time to change them so the car gets parked in here and the floor gets dirty it is what it is yeah but i mean there's snap-on toolbox and there's some 55 stuff, Chevy. 55 Chevy. Schwinn's out the wazoo. Lots of Schwinn's over here. This has got all the fun stuff here at the house. So uh, anyways, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff, but uh, deal with the mess. Fun story, we'll get this driving, get it back on the road, and uh, that's the plan. Okay. All right, so I enjoy driving this car probably a little bit more than dad does right now because he doesn't like how it sounds. Or isn't necessarily a fan of how it looks. No, I'm over it. It needs many tubs, big tires, and a big block. I'm a fan of all of that, but I still enjoy driving it as is. We'll show you a little bit more of what it is. What year did we get this? In 2008, probably, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe even earlier. So it would have been that. earlier than that. That would have been like 2006. My Five. I think it's no. I think it's oh five. It was right after. Yeah. So. Anyways, we've had it a long time. See, I did drive it to high school. So I have my parking pass. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, two thousand five. It had to be at least two thousand five. It was so at how, least. How yeah. many years ago is that? Because my dad died in oh two. Oh three oh four. I wasn't very old, so I would have been six or seven, I guess. So what is this? That's twenty years ago. Holy crap! That don't sound like a long time. <laughs> so how, you found this what on eBay? No, yeah. uh, was it eBay? Yeah. Early eBay, eBay or Hot Rod Hotline? I think it's Hot Rod Hotline. What was the story on it then? Just decided to buy it. Well, it looked great. I mean, in pictures, this car looks super good. Look at the paint right here, though. So. It's getting worse, but it's been like this forever. So it was painted in 1968, but it was an original black car with that mostly as original interior. So it's had lacquer on it since 1968 and it just looks like shattered glass. Yeah. But I'm gonna paint it. <laughs> I don't like it. That's one of the reasons I don't like the car because I don't like the hockey sticks. I wanna get rid of those. I may get rid of the front bumper, mini tub it. Basically, other than that, I put a T56 in it, so it had a Muncie in it. The guy put it in 1968, he put a 300 horse 327, which will almost get out of the way of a snail. <laughs> I mean, it's like 300 horsepower now is like a econo car. <laughs> So. There is. Uh, there's a lot of stories to this car, but we could back it out in more workable try to conditions. Get it running. And then try to get it running, and then show you guys some cool stuff. Just get it up halfway decent. I don't think we can drive on these. Battery as well. It's got five volts. It should take it. to have a part number right there. Let me wipe that off and see what that actually is. 
Once to start it last time, it was just puking uh, gas all over the floor. So this is the fuel pump for the small block. And it's all dried up, so it's been in there forever. But look at the hose. That's not where you say it was leaking. Yeah, it's leaking around. What though. they typically do is they leak out this weep hole. When the diaphragm ruptures or cracks, which like that hose from sitting dry, it'll pump fuel up and instead of going inside the motor which it normally would it'd go right inside the engine and just contaminate the oil that uh -huh. that would be the drawback so they put a weep hole in here so if the diaphragm cracks it'll pump gas out of that weep hole and that's probably what you were seeing yeah not, i mean because it could have it was probably just going down and you yeah. know like coming around if not yeah. it's just the you know this is not pinched down tight enough the diaphragm's dried up so we got another fuel pump here so we just went to the parts store which i was surprised the parts store would even know what a small block shed well they didn't we looked it up anyway they had one in stock but as you can see it's different so this one's got little 5 16 line and then it points that way so we're gonna go get some 3 8 line bend it up change that and put a piece of 3 8 hose on here and take it back to the 5 16 <laughs> the little 516 fuel hose. And then uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go get another battery and then grab an air compressor. Pretty nice job. They put a lumen radiator, an MSD, and a chrome alternator and air conditioning in in 1968. So it's pretty good shape for the shape it's in. Good shape for the shape it's in. I'm lying. I put all this on because it had points in it. And the alternator, I don't even remember what it was. Some reason I put that ugly chrome one on there because I had it. And I put the air conditioner and I've never liked it. The air conditioner doesn't work very well, but we need to look at that because it gets hot in that car. Yeah. And what else? I put headers on it. It still had Ram's horns, manifolds, and I put disc brakes on it. It still had drum brakes. So I changed some stuff since 68, but I hate looking at it. It's ugly. <laughs> it's not that it. bad. It looks, like, it looks like 1968 with some junk from 20 whatever. It's okay. Out. It's okay. It's still a fun car. Let's go get some. I don't want to take that back off. Man, that gas stinks. Okay, so this hose is going to be a little bit in the way. I guess I think it'll go though. So it's hard to see if that was happening, but new fuel pumps on, new battery. Next up is seeing if carburetor is completely dried up. It's obviously leaked before in the past. We've rebuilt it, but it has sat for a while again. Good chance it's going to be completely dried up. Now, which one's which? <laughs> that was smart. Look I have a picture. picture. Yeah. I have a picture. Okay. It's got a little, it's got almost a half tank. So I thought that 
probably the pump diaphragm was bad. You can see that's the green one right there. But I can pry it down, and when I pry it down, it squirts. You see the fuel is squirting out at the top of the diaphragm, which is means that the, the circuitry in the carburetor is plugged up, either the, the accelerator nozzle in here or something in the metering plate, but it's plugged up, you know, dried fuel, and it just won't pump through. Look at the smoke. That's so, old gas smoke. So but we're just gonna take the carburetor off and go freshen it up. Okay, so it doesn't totally need rebuilt, but so the needle was stuck. There's a check valve thing where this squirter goes. They call this a squirter and it's got a number on it. That's a number 25 squirter and that's the size of the holes. Squirts fuel every time you accelerate. Pumps it into the Venturi's. But I think the little little bitty hole is stuck. So I'm stopped up. I'm going to go get a, a tip cleaner and clean that hole out to make sure because it wasn't getting any accelerator pump. But when we took it apart it probably doesn't have any fuel left in it now but it's shot fuel out so the accelerator pumps work and the gaskets didn't stick all that's good everything's open it when i did it before a long time ago i used a good gasket so it's got a blue gasket which is the kind that don't stick so i think all we're gonna have to do this was leaking real bad which is what you call a transfer tube it's just an o-ring we'll put new o-rings on it seal that back up get everything working again and flowing and we should be good yeah look inside see if you can so that's flowing good game here which i've got some of those gaskets i'm gonna take them just in case back together a couple spare parts in hand and it's ready to go Realize it was well, maybe it'll work. Let's see if that fits first. Got that funky old intake. Okay, so much better. what five trips to the shop i think yeah we're talking there's not as this house has tools but does not have shop well, it wasn't tools. really that it was it's actually carburetor parts, parts. Yeah. so we went and, and tried to attempt to rebuild a carburetor without a kit which you know being the pack right i am i have lots of everything so in the parts store doesn't so anyway we fixed it came back Everything was good, it ran good. Then start spraying fuel out of the secondary where the, the transfer tube goes in. There's a They beat the aluminum down over a plug. Well, somebody had epoxied over that plug. Well, the epoxy got bad. So I went back and fixed that, come back. And then the needle and seats decide not to work. So went back and found some more used needle and seats. <laughs> I mean, I think it was five trips. It was a lot, and now, it starts and runs and actually idles pretty good. New battery, semi-rebuilt carburetor, and needs an oil change. Yeah, it needs an oil change. We need to put a different air filter on it. That one's junk. Need to put a new air filter, intake block, a lot. There, yeah. Intake what? I'm just going down. I'm like, you could just do a whole new big block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it needs a big block. And I've got headers for that, but it's not as easy. When people think a 55 Chevy is a big car, it's not a big car. This thing is like I had, a Vega. I had that conversation the other day. Yeah, look at, there's an inch between the fan and that radiator on this little motor, and it's, you, there's just not much room. I actually did have somebody at Hot Rod Garage ask, because they, they were under the assumption, because the 55 is a big car, but it's not, no. and it's like, as I said, no, there's no room up there. And they're like, but it's a big car. I'm like, have you ever actually seen it sit beside 
um, what you consider a small car. Like, it's really not that big of a car. No, it's as big inside. It's bubble. You know, it's a big bubble. Yeah. But that is probably the smallest engine compartment besides a Vega that you can get. I mean, it's a it's little guy. Tiny. Yeah, so funny 55 story. You'll notice here, minus the dust, looks somewhat not right versus over here. When I was in probably maybe a senior, probably a senior, I which I drove this through high school when I couldn't drive the Camaro and I was getting gas and late, I watched late, 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 late at night before I had like, so I didn't have to get it in the morning and I pulled up to the gas pump. It was in front of a McDonald's and I watched somebody back into it and I screamed bloody murder and they wouldn't stop and he smashed the front eyebrow of the fender it and then a, drove off then drove off yeah so i mean you were <laughs> you almost jumped in between the two. I, I was pissed <laughs> and the but. guy got arrested and had to go to court because he yep. was drunk he was so drunk he didn't even know he hit this no nope. and then when we went to court he thought he backed into some little old lady yeah had and but he still got off he got off yeah. didn't get in trouble because he but. had cdl some judge got paid and yeah, he got his CDL. but they did have to pay for it to fix it. <laughs> I mean, it, the thing with the car, the paint's bad on it. But when that fender got smashed, the headlight got smashed back, broke the headlight out of. There's zero rust. This car has no rust to speak of. It is and a nice car. Hurt my feelings to mess up that good fender. But oh, I think a couple pieces of paint might have flaked off. Probably blew off. <laughs> I wish it all fly off. <laughs> And then you don't like the wheels. I'm over the wheels. You know, this thing set higher, set stock height, and it had five spoke Americans, but they were the gray center ones. Not the real cool old ones as cast, but the ones that were painted. And I had to change them immediately because I had these and I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm so tired of five spoke Americans. He's, yeah, he's mentioned that a couple times. <laughs> And then inside, this is the part that you're saying is almost all original interior. It used to look even nicer, but... You drove it. I, well, I drove it a lot. I did drive I probably drove this actually more to high school than the Camaro. So that, that carpet has been replaced but many years ago. The seat, look at this is the original seat. Look at the kick panel down there and the door panel. It hurts my feelings to see that door panel. It's gotten wet a few times. Yeah, it leaks a little. And it needs to be fixed. But the original headliner, somebody's actually done a touch-up job on it. Original paint on the dash. It's had a couple things touched up, like the shifter. Somebody took the three-speed on the tree out, and they repainted the little collar there when they took the put that one on. But, but it's very original. We didn't do anything with it for a long time because it smells like a 55. Yeah, it does. Did you see this? I, I was looking at it, but they didn't see it. So. No. So this is a copy because we've got the original one put away. But when we got the car, it came with the original uh, owner service policy. Bridgeport, Connecticut. And the car is like rust free. I don't know how. But that's that and I think the original bill of sale is in here the copy of it that's a ticket and a ticket that you got it wasn't actually a ticket it was a warning on the way to school what is that there it is the car was $2,090 in 1955 got the VIN number this is like I say this is a copy but we've got the original and it tells what little bit it does tell heater, radio heater, defroster, thermo, whatever that is, power pack, and signal lights. This was the options it had. So pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Two thousand ninety dollar. Who wants to give our money back? <laughs> the guy paid six hundred and fifty seven dollars. No, he paid a deposit of fourteen thirty three fifty, and then paid six fifty seven forty when he picked it up. It's not too bad of a deal. No. I don't know what. I need to do the math on what that is in today money. It would be sickening. It'd probably be like twenty thousand. I was gonna say it'd still be cheap. You can't buy a car like you used to could. So it needs a little bit of obviously cleaning, but when it's cleaned up, if you stand back and you squint your eyes, it actually looks pretty good. It's kind of like a, 
Like a chick. <laughs> it looks good from 20 feet away. It really, it really does. So this is not a fake plate. It's pretty cool. How long have you guys had that? I don't know. Look at this. Look at the stickers on there. It's like an eighth inch thick in stickers. <laughs> so I don't know when we get that 90, probably, 90, probably 90 or 91, somewhere in there. So it's been around a long time. How but long it, is that? 90, that's, that's 20. Like years, right? That's almost 30 years. Is that 30 years? Yeah. 92 would be 30? Yeah. Is that right? That would be 31 this year. Okay, 31 years I've had that plate. But um, that didn't, you didn't just get it. Like that came from another So person. a guy came here from California and he brought uh, Jim Ewing which some of you will know who that is, some of you won't. Jim Ewing is the guy that started Superbell, the Axle Company. And Jim was a typical California super cool dude. I mean, he built some bitching cars. There's a Hot Rod Magazine issue, I believe, with him and his, I believe it was him, it was, it, he had a tea bucket. And there's stories about him pulling in the driveway, you know, cruising on Van Nuys or somewhere and gassing it and just carrying the wheels all the way across the parking lot. This is a blown small block or something. Jim was a bad dude, but Jim built two Model A's to use as uh, cars for his new company, which was Super Bell. So when he did, he these Model A's were old school style. One of them was built, and we ended up buying this car. It was a 28 Model A on Model A rails. It had a Chevy 2 four-cylinder, but it had front and neck valve cover, had a bitch and intake manifold, had the exhaust come out of the side of the car, run down the side of the car. 39 Zephyr transmission, quick change rear end, Kelsey Hayes spokes. The car was righteous. But when the guy moved here from California that bought it from Jim, he put in for that plate and is like, You're not going to get that plate. But he did. So nobody in Arkansas until 91 or 92 had that plate. He got it. Well, when we got the Roadster, that's one of the things I wanted off of it was that plate. I ended up selling a Roadster, which I highly regret but that plate stayed with me and we've had it on something ever since. And funny enough, it actually, we were driving in, we were driving through, we were driving through Northwest Arkansas on this the way, 10 years, 10 ago. years ago on the way home from a trip and it was a C7 Corvette. And I looked over and I said, they have our plate. And there was a brand new Corvette that had a hot rod that had our Arkansas hot rod plate. So mom, it's been a C6. It's been so long. No, I think it was like the first because it was like a. I'm pretty sure it was seven. It was a long time ago, but yeah. So we're driving and we we're watching this plate, and it's like maybe they put a space between. We couldn't remember what ours looked like. Mm -hmm. Maybe they did hot space rod, or maybe theirs was vice versa. So we're trying to figure out. You know, it didn't say HQT RQD, which I've seen that before, not in Arkansas, but other places. But when we got home. You went to the cops and ran the plate. Mm -hmm. Turns out that they gave two plates out. Because ours was actually registered as a motorcycle plate, right? Because it was we'd had it long enough. It was registered in the system as a motorcycle yeah, plate. In the system as a motorcycle. How but long that did, was from 92 they did that. How long did that... Well, unless they... I, I kind of wondered if they did a new system and then... Yeah, they did a new system. That's what it was, yeah. It yeah. And then they put it in as a motorcycle plate. How long did that take to get fixed? Like a year, didn't it? Yes, and then I had to do it more than once. <laughs> yeah, we ended up... I mean, she had to fight them. She'd have to go to the police station. They'd run the plate again. No, it hadn't been fixed. So this woman was driving around. I guess the story was that when she finally... When they made her give the plate back, she got pretty upset. I but mean, I would get upset, it but it's not her plate. <laughs> yeah. But hot rod on a C7 Corvette, come on. <laughs> that's not even cool. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so that's the real deal. Pretty cool. That plate's been on so many different cars. It's even been on my truck. It stayed on my truck for years. So Just to, to keep, keep it in it rotation. Yeah, yeah, you got to keep it in rotation. Yeah, yeah, keep, you got to own it. That's why that dent's there because I my trailer hitch went into that <laughs> one time. And then. And that's the old school plate. Yeah, we've got the real, the new one in the. That it's would be actually equivalent to like a black California. They're pretty nifty, but like I said, I did drive this to high school <laughs> when <laughs> I couldn't drive the Camaro, and I think that's what I left high school with. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Autobiography of Johnny Ramone, which we just went to his grave. What else is in here? Look at this, some kind of a school project. I got art. 
Now that's got lathe metal shavings. Oh, look at that. Oh, those, those are there. Yeah. Those are nice. And an umbrella. Oh, schoolwork. Very nice. That's kind of crazy. This thing's not been moved. Well, it wasn't a backpack, but then I figured out when we did that, I needed my American flag backpack from when we did the thing with, um, when we did the thing with Amelia for Cletus's race. And I remember I just dumped everything out. So it wasn't a backpack. There's some good stuff in here. There's some art. Flowers to go on a grave, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Artsy stuff. Oh, look. <laughs> it's me with Rocker. rockers. You holding the rocker on. How oh. appropriate is that? So, I so another I'm... thing to notice is that's original. The original trunk mat is in this car. And it's very fragile. But if you lift that trunk mat up, it looks like the fender's there. It's perfect. There's no rust. It's just original the wheel tub wheel well doesn't have any rust no rust in the trunk lid original weather strip still on the trunk lid hmm. it's amazing so i guess it just needs to be back out and driven it was going to get driven it used to get driven occasionally i mean you know somewhat frequently but then the fuel pump and now it's out for like a year but now it's back in commission i think it'll be okay but oh, no. that's pretty hard and turbo has been yeah he likes to sink out in the garage and play. It, it needs a bath. We have done some touch up over the years and filled in the spots, but it's almost like you can tell some of that's been filled in, but it's not worth it anymore. It's just the paint is just gone. But it's just typical lacquer. Yeah. You wanna go for a drive? Yeah. You can drive it to the shop. Let's clean it up and then I'll go for a drive. Oh, you don't want to be seen in the dirt? No. <laughs> okay, I'll drive it. I'm gonna watch it go down the road. Okay. Mika also loves to go for a ride in the 55. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Mika. I know you're all gonna panic because I'm gonna ruin the interior, but she loves it and she's done it forever. Hello, Mika. Okay. You like it better now? Looks a little more tolerable, huh? Yeah, when it's clean, it the does look tires are black instead of brown. Yeah, it does need to be polished and detailed and everything, but at least it looks a little better after washing it. But driving it down here has a really bad flat spot. I don't know if that's carburetor the related carburetor, yeah. or if we should go get new gas. Well, let's do gas first. We need to order a new air filter for it, so let's get a carb kit and air cleaner. Smart, smart. Okay, so real quick, if you want to enter to win a Try 5 of your own, I'm going to include a link below to dreamgiveaway.com and tell you the code ALEX, promo code ALEX for 2X entries. So basically, Dream Giveaway, I'm partnering with them to help with the giveaway, but giving away a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Um, it's got Inca Silver paint it's got a really nice interior as well it's got a 350 with a five speed behind it very similar to this car as far as cruising wise um, i went down in november and actually had the chance to check it out and drive it it's a really fun car so if you want a chance to join the tri5 gang uh, link below promo code alex you'll get double the entries for each dollar that you spend um, goes to charity 100% tax write offable donation, and they also pay the taxes on the car if you win it. So, link below, promo code Alex, 2x entries. So, anyways, that's it for that part. Uh, back to what we're actually doing here going to get gas and going for a cruise. But, just thought I'd let you know. Arkansas billet. A little too short. It's always been a problem. But dad didn't like riding in the dash. So we're sending the clutch pedal. You had to do this the other day at Hot Rod Garage for the Savoy too. Alright, tall people problems. Yeah, it's a problem for tall people because we have to accommodate short people. It is what it is. But um, we did come up with an idea. A solution. No, not just that. So that's what he's talking about. The Arkansas billet helps here. 
But what I was talking about was as we were cruising, we talked about where are you at? Where is she at? There we go. Ah, tall. Tall people. So what we did talk about was we should just do an upgrade to this. Do a video series on it. Yep. Let's do, some, do it. New suspension. Do a new motor. New wheels, tires, and wheels new and motor. tires. New yeah. cam. So maybe stick with a little baby small block. And maybe do a terminator or like a little hp so fuel injection so um plan on seeing the 55 more yeah it's gonna be fun it okay. needs some it needs some tlc it does that it does so going for another cruise but success and thanks guys for watching and as always be happy go fast and stay pretty i will see you guys next time you're like the reverse mr wilson right now what's that well i see your mouth but not the top of your eyes I got gum. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys.